Connecticut, what's going on? We are here at lovely Silver Lake in Berlin, Connecticut, and I'm here with two-thirds of Ellison Jackson, one of the best bands that I've heard so far this year that I've discovered, and their new album is out, Spectral Evidence, just came out this past summer, gonna make my top ten list of one of the ten best records coming out of the state of Connecticut. Guys, what's going on? Not much, not much, Jeff. Let's do some quick names and introductions. I'm Sam. I play guitar and sing and write songs. And I'm Greg Peral. I'm the bass player, so I do all the bass parts. Slapping the bass. So, Ellison Jackson, first of all, interesting name. I hear it comes from a dead sailor. Am I right with yes. that? Uh, that's my grandfather, actually, from uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts. And he was a fisherman and died in the 60s, early 60s. That is an interesting way to name a band. So the the mood then of the the band of this album, Spectral Evidence, totally fits the band name and a whole mystique and aura of what you guys have going on. I hear a lot of Leonard Cohen influence and Bob Dylan and guys like Neil Young and all that kind of stuff. And so for the uninitiated, how would you guys pitch Ellison Jackson to the people at home? Uh, well, our records are in that vein. Um, we try to make it as layered as possible. Uh, we might have like a ghostly sound almost. Uh, live, it's it's straight garage rock though. Uh, we keep it high energy when we're on stage. But the records are, are more to be listened to over and over again. At least we try to make it that way. Yeah, there is sort of a dark element. I mean, there is a, there is you know sort of that indie folk Americana vibe going on. But it's it's a lot darker in material and in sound than your average. Americana band. So, you know, what type of influences are you drawn from to make it so so dark and ambient? Um, well, actually, my biggest influence is, is really poorly recorded blues, old blues stuff. Um, but I don't know if that translates into our records, but we try to get the mood, not necessarily the content of, of that sound. So it all makes sense. I thought I heard Charlie Patton on there somewhere. Yeah, we, we're Charlie Patton aficionados for sure. <laughs> And then me, me and Kevin are kind of all about the progressive rock and that kind of stuff, more uh, experimental, a little electronic, you know, Radiohead kind of stuff. So that kind of gets blended in a little bit with uh, Sam's more, you know, roots influences that, that comes out on the album. So if you like Robert Johnson and Rush, then this is the perfect band for you guys. Totally. How did, you, how did this band come together and is centered in a place that's not necessarily known for music? Uh, actually, believe it or not, there are a few bands that are based out of Connecticut that have members in Berlin. The world is a beautiful place. Uh, the guitar player for that band actually lives right around here. Uh, we'll go visit them afterwards. And uh, Prisms has some members from Berlin as well. They're out of New Haven now. Um, but we basically came together uh, after I recorded a, our first record, which is pretty much solo, uh, with Sidewalk Dave. And then when it came time to finding musicians, I kind of knew these guys so it worked out worked out that they weren't bad <laughs> <laughs> where do we see Ellison Jackson then going you know we mentioned the new record is out it's fantastic you could find it on your Bandcamp page so what's next for this band uh, actually we're trying we're in talks right now to record an EP it's gonna be more rock based uh, try to get the live sound captured and we're gonna be uh, recording that with Fuzzy Rainbow who are the guys from uh, MC Barrington we're friends with those dudes, so we're going to be working with them. Hopefully this month. We just got to work it out. Yeah. It's news to this guy. I got to tell you, M.T. Barrington, one of my favorite Connecticut bands, Fuzzy yeah. Rainbow. They did the video for Eula that we've showed on this show. Fantastic work these guys do. So, I, I, again, and, and speaking of live, we're working on trying to get these guys on a live and local, so stay tuned for that as well. So where do we see then Ellison Jackson five, six, ten years down the road? Five years? How about five time. months? Five months? Uh, well, we're just going to be trying to tour, continue touring around the Northeast, and then see where it goes from there, uh, see how the EP is received, and then you know, keep going. We're not really looking that far ahead. We're just in the moment, I guess. Yeah, we just uh, keep trying to work on coming out with new material, keep uh, making new songs, going out and playing, and hopefully making new albums and see where that goes. I love it. And we're going to go into a song right now, right here on the shores of Silver Lake, right? What song are you playing for us? Uh, the first song I'm going to do is actually one that's not on our newest record. Uh, 
we've actually had a bunch of songs since we started recording that, and uh, it's not titled, but it's uh, about New Britain, Connecticut. My hometown right now, so here's an untitled track about hard-hitting New Britain. Coming up after the break, we're going down to New Haven to visit with Trina. <laughs> 